Welcome to Helen Meets History, where today we engage in a conversation with yet another legendary figure. Certainly, I am Napoleon Bonaparte, a military and political leader who rose to prominence during the French Revolution. I crowned myself Emperor of the French and, you know, tried my hand at a little conquest here and there. Just the usual career path, I suppose. Ah, my true passion. Well, besides the obvious fondness for military strategy and world domination, I must say I have a soft spot for the arts, poetry, painting, and the grandeur of architecture. These are the pursuits that fueled my imagination and added a touch of romance to my otherwise tactical existence. Ah, Josephine, my one true love. Our story was like a tumultuous yet beautiful symphony, with crescendos of passion and adagios of challenges. Josephine, with her grace and charm, added color to the canvas of my life. We had our share of ups and downs, like any couple navigating the complexities of love and power. She did have a bit of a penchant for spending, I must admit. I once joked that her name should have been Josephine de la Shopping, but love conquers all, or so they say. Love is a battlefield, my friend, and it requires strategy and compromise. Find someone who shares your ambitions, isn't afraid of a little conquest, and has the resilience to weather the storms of life. A sense of humor helps, too. Laughter is the best ammunition in the battles of love. France, the jewel of Europe. It is a land of rich history, artistic brilliance, and, of course, a bit of revolutionary spirit. The Republic of France, to me, symbolizes the pursuit of liberty, equality, and fraternity. It is the embodiment of the ideals for which I, too, strive during my time. I imagine I would be quite impressed by these smartphones everyone seems to be glued to. The ability to communicate across vast distances without sending a messenger on horseback. Truly a marvel. Although I must say, I would miss the charm of a well-crafted letter. Ah, the infamous height question. I suppose it's only natural for people to be curious about such matters. The truth is, I wasn't exactly towering over my contemporaries, but I made up for it with grand ambitions and military prowess. Height may be measured in meters, but the measure of a man lies in his deeds, wouldn't you agree? My biggest dream, you ask? Well, beyond the conquests and battles, beyond the titles and crowns, my ultimate dream was to leave an indelible mark on the pages of history. I aspired to shape the destiny of nations, to be remembered as a visionary who brought about change and progress. The dream was grand, a legacy that transcends the boundaries of time. In the end, whether you view me as a hero or a villain, I aim to be a figure etched into the annals of history, forever influencing the course of human events. My message to humanity would be this. Embrace ambition, cultivate a spirit of unity, and never underestimate the power of laughter. In the grand tapestry of history, your actions today will shape the world of tomorrow. Bonne chance, mes amis. Until our next episode, where Helen meets another great legend of history, keep the flame of curiosity alive. Goodbye for now, and remember... The adventure continues. See you in the next episode of Helen Meets History.